what's up guys i'm back so today's sunday and what do you do on sundays you cook no <laughs> no you no seriously we cook every sunday so i have my crock pot going guys because first let me just say this it's 12 o'clock i just gotta be a little transparent right now I was kind of up kind of late um things of that sort so get a little late start to sunday dinner but it's gonna get done anywho um i have my red snapper marinating my plantains doing their little thing i'm gonna put my beans and rice on it should only take about um two to three hours to cook they've already had lunch and breakfast so they're good anyway so, now I want you to be like, oh my gosh, she can't cook. No. Guys, my crock pot is very used. So, yeah, you're going to see scratches, but it's clean. So, with that being said, um, I did coat my pan on my crock pot, per se, with olive oil. That's me, whether it be on here on Instagram. But this is the one I use. I have my onions and garlic already cut up to go inside of here. I'll also be adding in some ginger. I'll also be adding in some thyme, fresh thyme, and some fresh cilantro. The spices I'm going to use is going to be, I'm going to give you a few. I'm going to use curry, coriander, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, teaspoon of sugar, teaspoon of sea salt, black pepper, salt. And everything else you add up to your own discretion because I'm not going to tell you what else I use. Okay. So if you are not hip to better than bouillon, I suggest you get on the bandwagon. So I'm going to be using a teaspoon of the roasted garlic base and a teaspoon of the seasoned vegetable base. If you guys are curious, this is what they look like. This is the veggie one. And of course, this is the garlic one guys so if you never use the vigo the beans are not cooked they are crunchy as heck it's not like can where it's open and it's pre-cooked and the rice is raw as well so make sure you cook it by the way guys do not over season your food with the better than bouillon like i said one teaspoon use that at your discretion because it will make your food salty if you use too much guys i hear are foreign to red snappers so they have a couple of different ones that you can purchase. You can purchase the fillets, which are these, which they're already deboned. Or you can purchase the boneless. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> these are not deboned. Let me stop. Um, but the red snapper is going to have like the red type skin on it. Put them in the bowl. As I uh, stated before, and marinate them. I know I said they were marinated, but I'm going to marinate them now. So we're going to marinate these. I usually season them really well marinate them maybe one day i might sure no um okay guys so depending on the type of plantain that you're going to be making this one will be considered more ripe so this one will be a bit more sweet um this one it all depends it may not be sweet um so i normally do a sweet version um, you can do them crispy, like a savory, the sweet kind are kind of more so of a more dense, chewy, sweet, dull type texture. I hope I'm like using the right verbiage for you guys, but you can either steam your plantains. I've air fried them. I've deep fried them. I've baked them depending on what you're going for it doesn't really matter how you cook them the key to them is not to overcook them soak the green beans for those of y'all that do not know how to pick them they're fairly simple you just pick off the ends or any brown part so this part right here and then you'll get this product so yeah hi hey guys so here i'm just showing you how i personally pick my greens this is how i was taught many many years ago by my grandparents so make sure you do soak them uh depending on how many green beans you may need to soak them for maybe like an hour or two or even longer depending on where you purchased them from so i'm just 
doing it with a knife because it gets a more sharp edge. Okay, so who has beans without cornbread? It's a whole vibe, y'all. It's going cornbread in the making. Got the flour. We got the beans going. The red beans and rice. The fish is marinating. We got our green beans over here doing a little sump sum. You know, I got my tea cracking because why? Because you need it. It's a pandemic and it keeps you healthy. But yeah, let's get into these green beans though. So don't judge me. Yes, we are just now getting rid of our Christmas tree. They were actually supposed to get rid of this joint while I was out of town. But you know, when the queen leaves, things don't go as planned. So my dad was here and he kind of just let them do what they do when I leave, which is nothing. So yeah, we're getting that up out of here. We're getting it clean and everything. So I can get back to sitting in my living room, enjoying my fireplace. Look at my plant, y'all. I forgot about my plant. Forgot about my plant. This is why I really don't like um, live plants because that one, this one over here, y'all, I can still kind of bring this some joker back to life. It just needs a little, little tender care, some water. Ah, the leaf just fell out, y'all. Look at that. I'm going to need to help her. Let me get some water for this guys, So don't overcook your green beans. These are pretty much almost done. So the living room is treeless. The plantains go in here, so. Oh, hey, okay. it's a whole vibe over here. You hear me? A whole vibe. Look at that. Yeah. Yo, what is that? What is that? What is that? Better than anything cake. Woo! Teacher, teacher. So this is the finished product. You got your red beans and rice, your fried pantains, and the snapper. Bro, you should not eat this type of stuff. Especially at almost midnight. This is terrible. What's up, y'all? So, kind of random part in the vlog I'm going to include. And I'm just basically going to tell y'all that nobody probably is going to really be legitimate and tell you this. So, I'm going to tell you. Online dating... my opinion is on a different level of it takes a different level level of you being honest being able to trust someone um being vulnerable on a different level communicating on a different level um yeah just it, you're opening up yourself in a different manner and nobody's going to tell you what I'm getting ready to tell you about online dating bump getting catfished and all this other kind of crazy stuff that's not the horror about it the horror is you're going to get hurt yeah the same way you go out here and do like the regular dating, meet somebody somewhere, you exchange numbers, eventually you go on a date, things don't work out. It turns out bad. It's worse on the internet. Let me tell you, you got people lying, you got people pretending, and they can pretend and lie and gas you up and just do all this kind of stuff because they're online. They're hiding behind some keys everything even if you get to the point where you guys are talking on the phone you're texting your video chat and whatever you just don't know what the heck you're getting so be prepared guys if you want an online date i don't care if you're on a christian website i've done those um or if you're just on a regular website be prepared to get hurt and i'm talking to my sisters your ass is gonna get hurt 
excuse my French. So, and it's going to hurt you a little differently than the traditional way. You, to the point where, don't get to the point where the person you think is being honest, the person you think because y'all video chatting, you're texting, you're having conversations, whatever the case is, it doesn't matter. It's happened to me several times and literally the person just go ghost. Um, yeah. And sadly enough, the last couple of times, like, we share the same faith. That don't mean nothing, sis. Because they'll do you just as wrong as somebody that y'all don't share faith or somebody that's not even a believer. It doesn't matter. Just I'm just, in a nutshell, just be, get prepared to get hurt. So I feel like, and I probably shouldn't be telling y'all this, your walls need to be up even higher than if you meet somebody traditionally. So that's all I'm going to say. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you watched this far, you might as well go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and uh, I'll check y'all in the next one. Peace.